Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta YouTube channel. Today we have a very special 1969 Camaro Resto Mod for you guys. This is by far one of the nicest Camaros in the country. This thing has had a ton of modifications done to it. Um, before I jump into this video, if I went over everything done to this car, it would probably take me a good solid two hours just because it's modified so much. But we'll go over just some of the key things that are done to the car just to give you an idea of the quality of the build. But this thing has had no expense spared on it. They spent all the money on this car and it is very, very nice. I would go as far as saying the nicest car we've had here at Collectible Motor Car. And it's a Camaro, so that's a double uh, that's really good for us. But overall, guys, the paint and body on this car is really nice. It's got a, a ton of custom little things done to it. Like you can see here, the bumpers were custom made and pocketed into the front of the, uh, the car there to give it a really clean li look. All your side markers have been shaved on this car. Your drip rails were shaved. Your rear bumper as well is pocketed into the back of the uh, quarter panels back there. The uh, rear spoiler has been molded into the trunk and the quarter panels to give it a real uh, clean and seamless look. Um, all your glass has been upgraded in this car. It's just super nice. The owner told us that the paint job on this car was somewhere around eighty dollars to $100,000 with all the body work and everything done to it. And guys, the paint, there is not one flaw, not a fish eye, nothing in this paint. I mean, it is near perfect. It is absolutely amazing to look at. It's beautiful. Um, it's just so straight and clean. But let's go ahead and jump into this review. Uh, we'll start up front here like we typically do. And like I mentioned, you do have the uh, custom bumper up front there that was pocketed into the front of the car there. You've got the RS Hideaway headlights there as well. Your side markers have been shaved. You have a beautiful cow hood on this car as well. Um, like I said, when you're looking down the, the uh, fender here and all your gaps and everything, I mean, this car is just absolutely amazing. It's super clean. You can tell they paid attention to detail on this car. Just beautiful gray metallic paint. You do have some forge line wheels here that just look really good. They match the build quality. You got six piston bare brakes up front as well. You've got some billet mirrors, billet uh, windshield wipers there as well. Uh, as I look across the top of the car here, super slick, super clean. I don't even see any wiping scratches in the paint of this thing. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. You've got some really cool Ken Diggett door handles here just to kind of give you a really clean and modern look. I really like Ken Diggett's door handles. You don't see them a whole lot, um, but the cars you do see them on are usually like this one, very tricked out and very clean. Um, as we work our way down the quarter panel here, it's nice and straight, no major imperfections or anything like that. And as I look down the side of the car, this thing is laser straight, guys, super clean. Um, like I said, I always like to open up these doors just to show you that they do shut good. Doesn't get no better than that. Sounds like a refrigerator door shut in there. But as we get back to the back of the car here, check out the body line on this 69. You know, that's one thing that I like about the 69 Camaros. You have these really cool body lines on the front fender that kind of runs into the door and then kind of comes back here to the rear quarter. And these body lines are super straight, super crisp, and just look absolutely amazing. As we work our way around the back side of the car here, you have a custom set of tail lights back here that are LED and they're sequential. So that means like when you hit them, they kind of like do this pattern. Um, we can show you that with some B-roll. Um, as you look at the trunk here, all your gaps around the trunk are nice and clean. You have that custom rear spoiler back here that just gives it a really cool custom look. Everything is shaved back here. You don't have the black panel back here or any of that. You, it's all been shaved and gives it a really clean look and a custom look as well. But overall, just a really, really nice car. Um, let me go ahead and pop the trunk real quick for you and show you that. There's a little button inside here you can hit. It's all electronic. This car's got a custom trunk done in here. It's got some speakers, some subs and stuff in the back, but you do have enough room to put a lawn chair or a little cooler or a little bag back there. I mean, this car was built to be driven, um, so you can definitely drive this car. Uh, you do have a little bit of a trunk space back there to put a little go bag or uh, something like that. If you're going to a car show and gonna be staying the night, you can put your bag back there and drive this to the show. Or like I said, a lawn chair to sit in to, well, if you take this to a car show, you're not going to be sitting much because there's going to be a ton of people come up and asking you questions. But you do have the custom billet hinges here as well. They made a custom uh, rear trunk panel there with like little grills here for the speakers and everything. All your electronics for your subs and everything are behind that. It keeps it nice and clean and neat. But overall, guys, I mean, just check out the detail, even on the bottom of the trunk here. They did not skip anything on this car. They really paid attention to detail on this one. And this is a very nice car. And that is kind of the reason why the price is what it is on this one, because like I said in the beginning of this video, no expense spared on this car. I mean, I don't even want to touch it, it's so nice. 
All right, guys, check out this masterpiece of an engine bay, guys. That is an RHS LSX 427 all aluminum block, and this thing is built to the max. You've got Cali Dragon Slayer crank, you got Cali Ultra, Ultra Rods, Wisco Custom Billet Forged Turbo Pistons. You've got a ton of other things like titanium intake valves, um, uh, upgraded exhaust valves, eight pack racing valve springs, RPM racing rocker arms with Smith Brothers Grunion Kit. Uh, you've got Smith Brothers push rods, ARP stud kit, uh, GP tuning turbo cam. You've got 88 millimeter uh, Nelson turbos. You've got a 60 millimeter wastegate. Um, and this motor is matched up to a T56 Magnum transmission that is built. You've got a uh, uh, McLeod dual clutch kit. You've got a billet flywheel, uh, McLeod clutch uh, master cylinder. Um, ton of things. Uh, the, the brains of this engine is a Holley Dominator EFI system, which is the best Holley makes. Uh, it's got the dual Holley um, injector drive module as well as a Holley traction control module. And as you can also see, you do have dual throttle bodies there that are electric, so they're controlled by wire, so throttle by wire, but they are dual. Um, that's really unique. You don't typically see that in most um, resto mods like that. You don't even see that in modern cars. That is something that Ford just started recently doing on their newest Mustang that they just came out here in 2024. But guys, I mean, I can go over everything on this engine, but I would literally be here for 30 minutes going over everything. We have a detailed list of the build on this engine on our website that you can go to and literally see every spec on the engine. I just tried to go over some of the key features on this build. Um, this engine is making 1300 wheel horsepower, guys. So this thing is an animal, but with a traction control system on this car, it can definitely keep you in control of the car and keep the tires planted to the road. It makes this thing a blast to drive. But guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and move to the interior so I can show you what that has to offer. All right, guys, check out this beautiful custom interior on the 69 Camaro. We'll start off first with these awesome bucket seats and the custom center console. As you can see, these are black leather with some white stitching and you've got the houndstooth, but it's not your typical white and black houndstooth. It's black and gray to kind of match the accents of this beautiful Camaro. Um, you got brand new carpet. And like I said, this console is super trick. You've got all your windows in here are power, including the small ones in the back. So you've got all your switches there. You do have your audio control here. It is Bluetooth. So you just hook your phone up to it and you control it right there from that panel. You do have some USB plugs here so you can charge your phone and other devices. You do have some awesome uh, Dakota digital gauges here. And these are the ones the, that have the little uh, digital screens there to give you some outputs like anything you want there. Like this one's got range, it's got trip, uh, it's got service, uh, your mileage there and a timer for your clock. Um, but overall, super nice. You do have a really nice steering column here with tilt wheel. You've got your billet controls here for your turn signals. You've got a custom dash here that's all been wrapped in leather, it matches the seats, and it absolutely looks beautiful. This car does have vintage AC as well. You've got the three controls there to control your temp, um, uh, your heat, and your blower motor. You've got all your switches here for like your wipers, your electronic e-brake for the bare brakes, um, your uh, interior lights, your running lights, and your trunk. So your trunk is electric as well. But guys, overall, this interior is absolutely beautiful. It looks really nice. The headliner is done in a beautiful suede, and it just is absolutely amazing. But guys, with that being said, let's get to the best part, and let's take this one for a drive. All right, guys, we're out cruising in this Camaro, and all I can say is this thing is freaking awesome. It drives better than a new Camaro, and it's got more horsepower than anyone ever needs. I mean, this thing is an absolute animal, just quarter throttle and just holding it there i mean this thing starts rolling steam man i mean it's impressive the steering is very nice the ride is really good detroit speed is one of the best in the industry and let me tell you i'm very impressed on how this car handles and how it just eats up the road eats up the bumps it just drives awesome it's got a really good sport car feel but at the same time rides like a cadillac and that is hard to do with aggressive like racing style suspension the steering is super tight. And one thing I noticed with the key, like with the ignition, which is really impressive, it's just super smooth, like butter. I don't know what ignition is in this car, but it's absolutely amazing. It just 
turning the key makes it just feel luxury. Um, the transmission's amazing in here. It shifts really good. Um, T56, you just can't go wrong with those transmissions. Um, got a nice notchy feel, but at the same time, nice and crisp all the way through. Um, we rolled up the windows for the ride. All the windows work in here as they should. Your gauges work as they should. But overall, guys, this is by far the nicest resto mod I have ever driven. And I've drove some pretty nice cars, but this one definitely takes it as the best. It's absolutely amazing. But we're going to go ahead and get turned around, and I'll get on it a little bit. Got to respect this car. Um, this is a good customer of ours car. It's a consignment. But I'll get on it just a little bit just to kind of show you what it's got. Uh, but it's absolutely a very fast car. Just take my word on that. I've got an 1,100 horsepower ZL1 Camaro. And this thing is way faster. I'll just go ahead and tell you that right now. So 1,300 wheel horsepower. This thing is an absolute animal. But we'll get turned around here and we'll check back in with you and we'll show you what this thing's got. That was absolutely amazing. Like I said, that was literally quarter throttle. And as soon as the boost was kicking on, I was pretty much shifting because it was starting to pull so hard that it was trying to break the tires loose. But guys, this thing is an absolute animal, but yet at the same time, you can literally daily drive it like I'm doing right now and cruise it and it's perfectly fine. And one thing I will say with a lot of like twin turbo setups, you'll get a lot of lag. This car has no turbo lag, literally. Like it's got great power just cruising around here, giving it gas. Like it feels like you're just driving a, uh, like a naturally aspirated LS7. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing the build quality on this car. Uh, they really thought it through, even all the way down to the engine, the drivetrain, all the paint work. There was so much thought put into this car, guys. And like I said, the, the price is a lot on this car, but to duplicate this car, you would easily be up around $300,000 to build this car, if not more. I mean, this is an absolutely extreme build, but one thing that I wanna drive home is you can absolutely daily drive this car. You can drive it easy and it's not like super crazy. But when you do want it to be crazy, it can be that too. But guys, let's get back to the shop. Let's put this one up on the lift and let's see the bottom side. All right, guys, we got the Camaro back here at the dealership, and let me tell you, this thing drives amazing. And now that I've got it up on the lift, I can definitely tell why. Uh, you've got a nice rack and pinion steering here. Your radiator's all done in black. You got that big, giant intercooler up front there to keep everything cool, keep those air intake temps down. You've got upper and lower A-arms that are really beefy, and uh, Detroit Speed has some of the best suspension and engineering. They've got some awesome coilovers on here. You've got the three inch down pipe here to your V-bands. Uh, one of the really cool thing with the V-bands is you can take this exhaust apart in sections instead of taking the whole thing down. Definitely saves time when you're working on this thing. No leaks underneath this thing, guys. Your oil pan's dry, transmission's dry, your tail shaft seal's dry. Um, but guys, take a look at these welds on this exhaust. They're really small and really clean. Whoever did the welding on this did an excellent job. All your floor pans underneath here have been done in like an undercoating or rhino lining. It definitely gives it a lot of protection versus if you painted it all slick under here with like automotive paint. Um, that would just be really easy to chip. Yeah, it looks really pretty, but at the same time, it's really hard to keep it in good condition. I mean, any kind of little rocks going under here would, would chip the paint. So I definitely like this really nice um, rhino lining that's done under here. This exhaust is absolutely beautiful, stainless steel, all the way to back to some Borla Attack mufflers. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention, is seven, instead of having a soft line here for your brakes and everything, he's actually done hard line, which is really, really nice. Same with your fuel lines over here on the other side. Instead of doing soft AN lines, he did all hard lines, which looks really clean and is, in my opinion, better. Um, your cross member looks really good. Uh, super custom there. It looks really good as well. X-pipe here that looks really good. You can tell the exhaust is done very uniformed and it just looks like a piece of art. Uh, absolutely love that. As we get to the back back here, you do have uh, Detroit Speed um, QuadraLink uh, set up back here. You do have a 12 bolt uh, Mosier rear end that's been shortened 12 inches. Uh, you've got Detroit Speed mini tubs back here as well to be able to fit that big fat tire back there. And you definitely need it with 1300 horsepower 
new fuel tank with electric pump and everything in it and your exhaust comes out right back here and dumps out on each side of the tank kind of keeps it tucked up there so it's nice and clean i hate when i see a really clean car like this and they've got goofy tips pointing out down on the um, underside of the car it just looks weird so i definitely like that they kept that tucked up so you don't see it from the outside it looks really clean but guys i might have missed a few things on here but overall this is an awesome build very high quality um, no expense spared but guys if you're interested in this car and you're watching it on youtube i highly recommend you go to our website at collectiblemotor.com go to inventory scroll down until you see this beautiful camaro and read the listing i went in way more detail as far as modifications and things done to this car in there you can read up on that and if there's anything in there that i left out you can give me a call and i can inform you on anything else that you may have questions on we offer financing here uh, we do shipping we do all of it we can get this beautiful car parked in your driveway no problem at all um, one thing that i do want to mention as well we do have a mechanic that works here full time that does full inspections on every car that comes into our showroom before it hits our website so you guys can know that these cars have been looked over and there's no major issues with them and they're sorted before they hit our inventory here in the showroom also when the vehicle is sold we do a final inspection on the vehicle just to make sure nothing else happened while it was sitting here it didn't develop some sort of leak or anything and we will fix it before it gets parked in your driveway because no one wants gas oil or any fluids dripping on their nice driveway or garage floor so guys you can rest assured that anything that comes out of here we make sure that we do our best to make it as high quality as possible but guys don't hesitate on this one. I don't see it lasting long. This is an absolutely beautiful custom Camaro that is one of a kind. So if you guys want this one, give us a call at 770-738-7111. You can leave a comment in the bottom or you can go to our website and reach us there as well. But guys, we'll catch you on the next one.